Good morning and assalamu alaikum uh, this beautiful day. It is our pleasure and honor from the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta to bring you the morning inspirations. This is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. Um, this morning we're very, very honored to have a uh, an Atlanta native, somebody that is dear and near to the ISB's heart uh, to speak to us. But before I introduce Ustaz Zainab Ansari, I want to share something that I read yesterday on social media, and that is of a friend. Um, she posted, she has MS, unfortunately, and she posted that um, standing up and walking, she took for granted all those years. And because of her condition, she now appreciates that she can't stand or walk anymore. So she really appreciate what she had before. And that was a really strong message for me. We take so much for granted and how we need to appreciate every single thing that we are able to do, because we are not sure that we're going to be able to do it later on, even today. So with that in mind, please keep her in your prayers, in your du'as. And be ready to be inspired today by Ustaz Zainab Ansari. Zainab is a native of Atlanta. Uh, she is a 40 under 40 Georgia Muslims. Right now, unfortunately, she lives in Tennessee and works in Tennessee, but we're waiting for her to come back to Atlanta soon. She is scholar in residence with Taisir um, Seminary, and where she has been there for about three or four years. And we can't wait, Zainab, for you to come back. And Zainab, uh, Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much, my dear sister Samaya um, and my ISB family. So good to be here. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh. And I have to say, sister Samaya, I certainly do miss Atlanta. And I can, I pray I can be, um, I can make a trip back down there soon. I'm really only a few hours away. So it is really my great pleasure to uh, be sharing this reflection with all of you this beautiful morning. So I begin with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. And in fact, um, those two terms, ar-Rahman and ar-Rahim, um, compassionate, gracious, gracious, and merciful are actually the, the subject of my reflection. So I was inspired to, and in actually thinking about the, the term, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, or in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, I was actually inspired to contemplate a little bit on, on those names. In fact, one of the things that uh, we read uh, in the Quran, uh, this is in chapter 17, verse 110, God actually says, say, call upon God or call upon the all-merciful. Whichever name you invoke, then to him belong the most beautiful names. So I was thinking about this idea of invoking the name of God, who is gracious, who is merciful, and how sometimes we tend to say this as something that is almost as a repetitive formula. And that's because when Muslims pray, and Muslims are required to pray five times a day, part of the structure of the prayer is to actually invoke uh, the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. So, you know, in that sense, there's a certain level of repetition, but I think in that repetition is a really a wonderful lesson um, for, for all of us. And even for those who are maybe not from the, the Muslim faith tradition, just contemplating the great mercy and kindness of God. And I wanted to actually share that in the Muslim tradition, um, for, for Muslims that observe the prayer, there are different... Um, parts to the prayer. There's the required part, there's the sunnah part, which is the part that the Prophet peace upon him did after the required part or before that. So I went through all of that and counted the number of times that Muslims might actually say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim every day and it's 50 times. To me that is remarkable and beautiful and quite uplifting to go through one's day and to invoke the name of God as gracious and merciful up to 50 times a day. So in thinking about that, I want to invite all of us to to think about the way that the, the mercy and compassion of God really manifest um, I think in these small ways and these, the, and, and the ways that, that we might not think about or take for granted, as our dear sister Sumeya said. So as I was getting up this morning, I was asking myself the question of why should, um, why should I be happy or grateful today, right? That I don't want to just sort of 
get up and sort of go through my, my daily routine in a kind of perfunctory way, right, or a formulaic way, but I want to wake up feeling happy and excited and motivated about this day. And that's d- despite, you know, whatever change or interruption has happened to my and my family's routine. So my advice to all of us, really beginning with, my, with myself, is that every day that we are blessed to wake up, that right there is a manifestation of God's loving mercy. Every day that we get up and we have access to clean water and hot water and toiletries like soap and lotion and food and coffee and clean clothing, those things right there, again, um, are such a, a, a level, a, um, a manifestation of God's mercy that, again, it's very easy to take for granted um, given our, our comfortable circumstances in Western societies. You know, I also wanted to mention that um, every day that we're, we're able to get up and have that connection to our family, to our loved ones, to our friends, to our community, even if, even if it's through, say, um, you know, um, an uh, electronic platform, that just this idea that we are still able to maintain this human connection, that every day we can get up and say, salamu alaikum to family, to friends, pick up the phone and give someone a call. Again, that is another manifestation of God's mercy. You know, every day that we wake up and we actually have the use of our voices. So, you know, for the last few weeks, I'd lost my voice. And you, know, you don't really think about that until you can't talk. So, you know, for me to be able to use my voice, that is a blessing of God, of Allah Ta'ala, God Most High, that um, I thank him for. What, what a mercy it is, especially as a, as a teacher and a mom to be able to have a voice. So every day that we get up and we have our voices that we can use for good and to benefit others, every day that we have our faculties intact, um, our cognitive abilities, every day that we have our senses intact, you know, um, that we have um, one of the things that's interesting about um, or or, or maybe one of the things to think about for those who are impacted by COVID-19 is that there are reports of people, people actually losing that sense of smell. And I remember reading an article once about a woman that had a condition where she had lost her sense of taste. So again, for the the mercies in those blessings, again, most of us don't really don't really kind of take the time to think about what would our, our world be like if we couldn't, you know, sort of inhale the fragrant aroma of our coffee, right, or taste that muffin that we're biting into, you know, so to actually have, you know, to have these senses. Um, you know, every day they were able to walk outside and look up into the sky, that beautiful blue sky. And fortunately, you know, um, pollution levels are coming down. The environment is trying to kind of recover a little bit, you know, so every day we're actually able to walk outside and feel the warmth of the sun, um, you know, on our skin and, and hear the, the birds sing and see the vivid, vibrant colors of the grass and the flowers, again, all manifestations of God's mercy. So my encouragement is to be able to kind of locate the mercy of God in these small amenities and aspects of our lives that we often take for granted. And to remember the word raham or or rahma, so rahman and rahim, these terms gracious and merciful come from the term raham, and uh, raham is actually the, 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 the Arabic word for the womb of the mother. And the womb is a, a, a place of safety, peace, protection, and nourishment for the growing baby. So this is my reflection I wanted to share with all of you this morning. I pray it was of benefit. And my dua, my supplication is I ask Allah Ta'ala, God Most High, to manifest his mercy and compassion in, in, in the lives of all of you in small and large ways. Thank you so much. Amen. Jazakallah khair. Ustaz Zainab, that was very, very, very beautiful to start off our day. And uh, please remember what Ustaz Zainab taught us this morning and be mindful about everything that we do. When we go on autopilot, we do not appreciate all the little things that she mentioned. But when we are very mindful of our bodies, of our mind, of our breath, and how what we're doing, connecting with people, connecting with nature, uh, counting all our blessings that we have, So let's focus on the positives. Uh, Yes, we have a lot going on, but remember, God is the all merciful, all uh, compassionate. So remember that, and he will take care of all of us. 
Uh, Jazakumullah khair. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we look forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow with another inspiration. Thank you.